My Great League Remix team mostly consists of Kling Klang and Obstagoon. Now we do have Durant in that third spot uh, a lot of the time. It's going to be a little bit variable, you know, you just have to obviously, there's kind of like always going to be a hole in your coverage somewhere. But I was thinking, hey, we don't really have something to take on Psychic if they throw it out there. Maybe uh, Durant would just be kind of an interesting choice. And so let's see how it plays out, man. But I should just first off warn everybody, <laughs> I do absolutely hate PvP. Uh, one thing that I do accept in PvP, though, in the Go Battle League is the Great League, and so when they did Great League Remix, I was like, alright, I gotta try this out. The other thing about that was that I have the level 45 quest, like the special research where you have to battle in the Go Battle League 45 times? How am I ever gonna do this? I thought, well, Great League Remix is actually a way that I've been enjoying it a lot. I hope that this helps somebody out, but if not anything, it's just more for entertainment and storytelling and whatnot, because I am not the PvP expert, you guys. You, you pretty much already know if you follow this channel. I do all the Team Go Rocket stuff, a little bit of raiding, all of that expertise. And so having Ampharos come out here is sort of an interesting thing because our, you know, obvious shield baiting attack, our obvious, like, attack that I'm using here a lot is Mirror Shot. Being that it's Steel type, well, it's gonna be not very effective against the Ampharos, and so we are actually sort of in a losing battle right here, but we did actually get off this Mirror Shot before the Ampharos was gonna get off a Thunder Punch. I thought we were gonna have another Thunder Punch coming at us, and that would not have been very good. Well, we would have been at an impasse, you know, it's like, do we use our last shield up or no? And so this time, you know, it, it was kind of good because the Ampharos did actually use the charge attack. He could have actually kept on attacking us. It would have been a risky play, but uh, probably did the right thing, I guess. Uh, maybe some PvP people in the comments should let me know. You can comment on any of these battles. Just, you know, go easy on me. I'm not, like, a pro at all at PvP stuff, but man, did I find a team that uh, basically I haven't lost with yet. I imagine I'm going to lose at some point, but uh, of course, we're just going dark right now against the Absol for uh, hopefully the attack buff that comes with Night Slash. Obstagoon, an absolute beast. Obviously, doing cross chop would be super effective against that Absol. And the good thing was actually that it shielded. And so we did bust out a shield, which was great. Again, you know, that's a great thing. He's sending in Victini right now. Uh, gonna be okay because we've got Night Slash. Gonna land it for super effective damage right there, man. Boom. And so, of course, we're gonna go ahead and shield. We want to protect our Obstagoon right now. It has most of its HP. So, I mean, why not? Victini gonna be using Psychic. Uh, that wouldn't have been super effective against us, but it's all right. We need to, again, look after our health and everything like that. If we can just take out that Victini, gonna be perfect, man. Look at this. Without having to take a uh, charge move, of course, we didn't want to have to eat that, but we've got all this energy ready to go for the Absol. He does have one shield, so uh, presumably gonna shield this, of course, our cross job right now. It's gonna be super effective, so we'll see. It would be stupid not to, of course, but we do have that energy built up, so let's just throw out another cross chop and complete. Bam, it's not today, son. That is gonna be victory right here. Victory number one for this team. Now let's keep going. Kling Klang gonna be starting us off, of course. I actually use Kling Klang a lot of the times, not even in the Great League Remix, so, like, when we just had normal Great League, I would use it, and it was actually all right. There are a few things out there that could beat it back in those days, but right now they're blocked from Remix. You know, a lot of those ground-type attackers and whatnot, a Galarian Stunfisk, man, this thing would hate that with Mudshot. But look at this, we got a, uh, an Alolan Raichu gonna be throwing out. It's a very similar sort Sort of layout right now to what we had with the Ampharos, you know, it's got Volt Switch and all that, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and eat the charge move right here, that Raichu ate its charge move, so we're just gonna do this, and we have another Mirror Shot ready to go, of course, Mirror Shot with the chance to debuff can be deadly, are we gonna get it? Yes, we are, that attack is gonna fall right there. Stacks us up pretty well, we can also get Mirror Shot very quickly, uh, the Alolan Raichu just a little bit faster than us, a little bit more attack, so we'll go ahead and shield that, because we do actually have something in the chambers, I didn't want to lose our clean clang right here with that charge move ready to go right we're not gonna lose it so let's get an excellent on this mirror shot that boom not very effective of course we didn't get the debuff that time now we're at an impasse again it's like do we save our clean clan or do we try to pull this off man look at this we get another charge move before they can hit us that's one of the things i love about volt switch dude it's like it's not gonna do the damage right there it was so close but nope no cigar son because we are gonna get that off and now we've got of course a jirachi coming to play and uh uh, we obviously did not get our charge move. Man, we were so close. We were just one hit away. So let's go ahead 
to uh, get Durant up in here. It's going to resist, obviously, Jirachi's attacks, being that it's using Confusion, a psychic type. And so let's go ahead and actually eat the hit. I think Durant's going to be able to last this. What is it going to use against us, right? Doom Desire, ladies and gents. Boom. So right here, let's go ahead, X scissor it up. Interesting choice. Probably the right move for them to go ahead and switch out their Pokemon. And that's going to be Beautify. I don't know why I missed that. I am looking over this in like a post-commentary sense, you know. So these battles have actually already been recorded and I can kind of tell you what is going to happen in advance. Although I don't think I'm going to spoil that really. But uh, one thing I did just want to say is I was like getting ready to go to bed. So I was just kind of in my bed and like playing this while my wife was trying to go to sleep. Probably like, oh my God, turn that thing off. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, uh, we got another charge move off. Let's go ahead and do this again. Am I just so lame, dude, missing this? Totally whack. I mean, it, it's going to be fine. Look at this, you guys. We're, that would just be nitpicking at that point. So they're going to go ahead, have an attack incoming. I don't have any protect shields, obviously, as you guys see on screen. So we'll go ahead and eat that. Lose our Durant right now. It's a silver wing. That's totally fine. We don't want this really to hit our Obstagoon. So that's kind of great. That Beautify actually would beautifully resist our Obstagoon right now with counter as its fast attack because it's got that bug and flying, which is uh, the good news here is that we were able to take it out because it had just so little health left. But man, it would have hung on. This would have been very bad if we had Obstagoon in before this. So it's very good that we saved Obstagoon for this moment. So we are going to have to eat this, obviously. And uh, last time they sent a Doom Desire at us, I believe that's what's going to happen again right here. So we're going to take on the Doom Desire and still live, obviously, right now. But let's get that Night Slash off, man. This is going to be super effective, and that should be all she wrote. My friends with Gene Simmons from Kiss right now, crossing his arms, ready to take him out. Obstagoonlicious! And boom. See here, we got two more battles with this same team, but what I should let you guys know, of course, is that we'll play them at the same time, and there is just gonna be a little bit of variability here in our middle spot. You know, again, we're keeping the Kling Clang and the Obstagoon all the way, but uh, we do experiment with Mantine. Yes, sometimes they've called it Mantine. The animes actually, I think, use both, <laughs> and usually the anime is where I get my guidance and whatnot, but hey, let's see. So left side has the Mantine team, and of course, right side, we're sticking with our team that we've seen already. Polyrath, like, I would say both of these actually are good opponents to go up against us uh, to some degree. Polyrath, obviously, going to have resistance to our mirror shot. The Kingdra, the main thing about it is it would have normally taken uh, super effective damage from our Thundershock, which is our fast attack with Kling Clang, but of course, having that dragon typing in there is going to neutralize that. One of the real major ways to counteract this would have been to like have something that's uh, ground, maybe a dual type ground Pokemon. Again, Galarian Stunfisk would have been great, but Great League Remix is going to shake that up, makes Kling Clang a good choice for our leading Pokemon. Uh, statistically a little bit weaker than some of these, like let's say Polyrath right now. It does have Mudshot and it's also got Submission. And so that kind of makes things really interesting there for us on the left side because it's like, yeah, if we eat that Submission attack, we are going to take super effective damage. And the Mudshot fast attack is already doing super effective damage to us. And uh, definitely uh, packing a punch against us right now. We did actually eat that Submission and still we are alive right now. Kling Clang. Hopefully getting the best of this Polyrath, man. I don't know. It's going to be tough though. So you see what's going on. Kingdra actually just taking us out but barely and so we do get to actually get a few hits off with Durant before the opponent pulls in another Pokemon there on the right and so uh, we do have Lapras going up against us. <laughs> this little tiny ant. It, it, you know, it's beefy. It's got steel typing in it, right? So Durant, you could take it. Kevin Durant and so of course they're sitting in on the left side uh, this Ursa Ring. Interesting choice that I wasn't really expecting but uh, obviously Obstagoon we're going to be uh, using Counter as our fast attack. That's fighting, going to be dealing super effective, obviously, so they're going to go ahead and switch out, throw in an Octillery. Let's see how that Octillery likes a Night Slash, man, and we obviously are always looking for that stab, as well as the boost to our attack stat, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen, let's go! Attack is going to rise sharply right here on our Obstagoon on the left side. Wonderful, wonderful, and so that Lapras, of course, we did not uh, KO before it got off that Hydro Pump right there, so of course, we do want to shield that, so everything's going to be okay. Boom, just one hit for that Lapras to go down, and obviously, they are sending in that Ursa Ring right now, and look, another Durant is coming in right here. Durant would be okay against Obstagoon, I guess, if not for me using fighting type attacks as well. Now, we are going to Night Slash right there to hopefully get the buff on the right side, but we actually did not, and so I should actually kind of walk back. You know, I was saying fighting type attacks, but I should point out, of course, Durant having the bug typing in there is actually going to neutralize, because normally Steel would take super effective damage from fighting type moves, but nope, not in this case, ladies and gents. And so Mantine is just kind of one of those interesting 
interesting choices just because it can have so many different types of attacks. You know, we can have ice in there, we can have water, we can have grass, and so having all three of those is a little bit crazy, you know, that type coverage and stuff. And being a water flying, kind of neat, just gives us interesting coverage. You guys gotta tell me which teams you're using in Great League Remix. Check out our sponsor, The Coldest Water. Link's in the description and top pinned comment. And of course, thanks for viewing.